fans of the United States men's national team, if not the team itself, may be having a crisis of expectations following several disappointing results through five matches of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. A potential golden generation has not been at full strength for all of qualifying and has not performed at its best for more than a match, Jamaica, and a half, the second 45 minutes versus Honduras. More, how will USMNT line up versus Costa Rica? Those two wins are joined a home draw with Canada, an away draw with El Salvador, and Sunday's ugly 1-0 loss to Panama in Panama City to leave the Yanks second in the race for three automatic qualifying spots for Qatar 2022. That's fine. Good. Actually, considering that proving that the failure to qualify for France 2018 was a fluke. But there's a larger question in play here, one that outweighs those of Greg Berhalter's status as coach or any individual player's spot on the team. Sargino Dest and Anthony Robinson flank the duo, and Eunice Musa, Tyler Adams, and Weston McKinney are in the midfield. Paul Ariola and Brendan Aronson are out wide with Ricardo Pepe at center forward. Isn't the idea of the program in men's soccer in this country that the team should at least appear to be the better team in almost every game, especially considering the Yanks have so far played everyone but the two teams to most often qualifying out of CONCACAF in Costa Rica and Mexico? More USMNT News USMNT World Cup Qualifying Schedule 2022 World Cup Qualifying How to Watch Schedule Odds How Will USMNT Line Up for WCQ vs Costa Rica The United States ranks in the top 5 for number of registered soccer players in the world and Mexico is 6. So it's become logical to figure that a big, rich country would produce better players and that objective has been achieved for sure.